Ooh. Ooh. Like a light lighting up in the dark. You make it right. All right, guys, welcome back. As you can see, we're heading out reef again. Uh, first clips, we're chasing the crayfish. We got three fellas in the water. We're just going along a reef edge. We got one in close, one in the middle, one on the outside. We're in about 10 meters of water and we're just searching underneath bombies for the crayfish. Looking for their feelers as you're heading down. Usually you can see their feelers hanging out of the little, little hidey hole they're in. Jai has spotted a cray under this bommy and he's just making sure I don't spook it. Hey. Yeah, bro. So that's a good tip. If you do have a decent cray that you're worried that it's going to pull the gun underneath, yeah, you can always attach a real line to it um, from another gun. Unfortunately, he's missed the shot and the cray's ducked out of another little hole and cruised off. As you can see, they're very fast. <laughs> and there was no chance we were gonna um, find that cray again. Uh, Jai's been lucky enough to find another cray and he's got a decent shot off and landed a decent sized crayfish. Yeah, got one. With us being out during reef closure means we can't chase the usual fish. We're out here chasing the crayfish and the Spanish mackerel. In this clip here, I'm just mucking around, throwing some sand up. There was a big school of spangled emperor and I was just gonna see if I could get them in close. Yeah, this is just me mucking around. I'm throwing the boys into one of the blue water spots. Uh, they're just getting ready, as you can see. Burling up as well, uh, getting in close, throwing burly on top of them. Uh, that way it attracts the fish. Up for the boys. I think they're seeing a few more fish at the moment. Seem to be yelling and carrying on a lot. This is just me mucking around again. Decent sized trout. Could have landed a good shot on him. But yeah, obviously, reef closure. Can't be doing that. Alright, guys, this next clip. Uh, still gives me the chills. I uh, dove down about 10 to 15 meters. There was a lot of bait on this section. 
As you can see, I'm just sitting there looking at the bait school, just back and forth. And I thought, oh, I'll turn around and have a look at the deeper section. And as I did that, I could just see this massive bull shark. The shark itself, very chill. I could tell that straight away, just the way it was moving. It was moving super slow, super calm. He was just being curious. He wasn't being aggressive at all. Just coming up to see where I was, slowly started heading up to the surface. He looked at me and then he turned away. Jai's landed this small Spanish mackerel with his big cannon, his big blue water gun, as you can see to the left of me. It's his first time shooting that gun, so he did really well to get a small Spanish mackerel. The gun's probably overpowered for a mackerel this size, went straight through it, uh, no worries at all. Shot it from a good distance as well. The gun itself is mainly used for dog tooth tuna, uh, so he's decided to hang that one up and use my gun. Jai's got a Mackie on. Looks like a good one. Oh no, big shark coming up. I'm gonna sit close to the boys, there's a big shark coming up as well. Nice one! Jai, what a weapon! Just needed Jai's eyes! We're all struggling to see them um, Spanish. As soon as Jai jumps in, boom. He's not even fit the bloody esky. Yeah, it's getting a bit hairy at this point, so the boys have decided to jump back in the boat because, yeah, yeah, the shark is just getting a bit too confident. So, yeah, it's time to get out. Gonna move on to a different spot. As you can probably tell by the water clarity, we've come back into a coastal section to try to get a couple more crayfish. As you can see in this clip, I've let the crayfish feel my spear gun. Uh, they're curious creatures, so usually when they feel something, they'll come out and have a look, so it can open up a great shot. Uh, so that's another tip. Uh, doesn't always happen, depends on the crayfish. Sometimes they'll feel something and shoot back in the hole. But with this one, he's felt something and he's come straight out, opened up a good shot. Unfortunately, I've missed. <laughs> As you'll see, I'm using a shorter gun today. This is the first time I've used a short gun and the first time I've gone cray diving. So unfortunately, I wasn't used to it and I was missing every shot. I'm thinking that it was the recall on the gun because I'm used to my roller. Uh, but who knows, it might be just because I'm uh, inexperienced. Very annoying, because they were actually decent crayfish. What I've learned now is that if you miss, you usually got a second chance, unless you hit them, you usually got a second chance to shoot them. They usually just stay there. Oh, 
I did shoot one with my gun, just on the lowest setting on the roller. He ended up getting off, but then Alan, next to me, as you'll see, ended up shooting him. He come out of the bommy, I must have wounded him enough, and he come out of the bommy, and Alan got to shoot, shoot him, and he ended up getting him. <laughs> Missed again, and silly me didn't wait for the second shot. He was out of there. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys next time.